guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Gemini. This is going to be for your November 2023. You can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. Uh, we're going to take a look and see what your shadow side is, what your shadow work is for November 2023. For those of you guys that don't know what that is, basically this is getting in touch with a part of ourselves that we repress. This is our dark side. We all have it. Part of our healing, personal growth, and spiritual growth is getting in touch with that. So we're going to take a look and see what that is to you guys, and then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with uh, you, um, you may take a look at your take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to um, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in um, following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too, okay? So, uh, Gemini. What's going on with Gemini when it comes to their shadow work, their shadow side for November 2023 for Gemini. Gemini. All right, Gemini. Let's see what we have for you guys. All right, so we have the Nine of Wands here and the Moon. Okay. I mean, this could be, you know, a fear of someone here facing your shadow side here, you know, facing their dark side. Um, you know, I do feel like whoever this person is with the Nine of Wands here, someone here has dealt with a lot of their own trauma, their own pain, their own hurt here, okay? Yeah, I do feel like with the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands here, yeah, someone here is definitely holding on to a lot. Perhaps holding on to a lot of fear at this time here, too. I mean, maybe, uh, you know, some of you guys could be in this energy of, like, uh, you know, being in fear consciousness, okay? Uh, so the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands... You know, the three of wands and the devil. Mm. Someone here is definitely going through the dark night of the soul here, or is about to, or they've been going through it for a very, very, very long time. Uh, it's It could be, you know, someone here is definitely maybe going through like a really difficult transit in their zodiac chart, you know? So it could be that someone here is perhaps clearing out a, a lot of karma, moving a lot of karma at this time here. Just a lot of energy is being moved at this time for you, uh, Gemini. Uh, you know, e either you've, you know, been doing it for a while or that you just started here. Okay, with the Page of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You know, this energy that you're moving, all this energy that you've collected, you know, began as a child here. Some of you guys might have dealt with like, you know, abuse, sexual abuse here as a kid as someone who was young here, the Page of Wands. So this is about kind of like connecting with your inner child here, you know, healing that inner child, nour nourishing and nurturing that inner child at this time here, the Page of Wands, the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Devil, and the Six of Swords here. I mean, this is quite a pivotal moment here for you because I feel like there's a sense of moving forward here. Yeah, I feel like all this energy that you've been holding on to has is being released. So there's a sense of forward movement or th just, you know, no longer being in this like kind of like the stuck, stagnant energy. Okay, Six of Swords here and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Three of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Ten of, ten of Wands and the Ace of Swords here. Seems like you guys are having some sort of major breakthrough here. I do feel like what uh, you know, maybe you were you were wearing rose colored glasses, you know, and I feel like perhaps those rose rose colored glasses are finally coming off. Okay, uh, tell me about the eight of uh, not the eight of wands, the nine of wands here, the nine of wands, and the justice card, Libra energy, and the moon, and the death card here. Okay, this is uh, this is a major turning point in your life here, Gemini. Like I just feel like a ton of energy is being released here. Okay, so the Death card, Scorpio energy, and the Justice, Libra energy. What else do we have here for Gemini? What else does Gemini need to know, look out for, work on, regarding their shadow work, their shadow side here for November 2023 for Gemini? Hold on one sec. For Gemini.
Okay, so we have the Emperor Aries energy with the Star card, the Nine of Cups, one fell on the floor here. Oops. And we have the Hangman, Piscean energy. Yeah, a lot is being released here. It seems like you found some sort of perspective here. You know, you've been enlightened. You know, I feel like, you know, a lot of you guys are definitely going through like this, just this huge spiritual transformation here. Definitely leveling, leveling up from a page to a king. You know, it's an emperor here. So like this has been a really just a gradual process here and progress here for you. And I feel like uh, Gemini, you guys are really doing great on your journey here. Uh, or that you guys will do really great if you guys do choose to go on this path here, you know? So the King of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You know, this is, you know, this is also regarding your, you know, kind of like long-term goals here too, because I feel like this huge shift is creating that kind of like this long-term vision here for yourself because the stuckness created a lack of vision. Now I feel like you have vision. Now I feel like you're in this energy of definitely manifesting what you want, manifesting the reality that you want here. The Page of Pentacles, the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands here. So passionate new begins are happening here for you. I mean, this could be an indication that, you know, you guys are, you know, a fire has been lit up your guys' butt. And, you know, I do feel like, you know, with the tower here, the, the universe is definitely stepping in to so, sort of like support you and rescue you here from this part, kind of like this prior situation that you've been through here or that you are going through. Okay, you can apply this to your own timeline here. The two, we have the hangman and the two of cups. I do feel like a lot of you guys are definitely kind of like reconnecting with yourself here because I feel like for a long time, some of you guys might have lost yourselves here. Tell me about the uh, nine of cups here, the nine of cups and the ten of cups. Wow. Look, look what's coming in for you, Gemini. This is happiness. This is fulfillment. Emotional happiness and fulfillment is coming into your life. Big changes are happening. We have the star card here and the five of wands. Why is the five? Why does why is this five of wands here? I do feel like there's a lot of things that you're really reconciling within yourself at this time, and I do feel like maybe you like you know, like I said, you're releasing a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, um, a lot of trauma here. Perhaps you're releasing anger here too, you know, that conflict within yourself here, because there's definitely a, like you're definitely moving towards this like calmer place, you know, kind of like more of this um, this more balanced energy here, energy of like kind of like a recovery, yeah, uh, the emperor and the four of swords, yeah. So I feel like what's happening is I feel like you're making peace with yourself. Yeah, you're making peace with yourself. But like I said, a lot of energy is being released right now. A lot of energy is being transmuted and it has, it has been going on for a while here. And I do feel like things are getting better and better and better and better and better as you go through your own process here. Okay, so Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.